Okay, so you got your gun, you got your concealed carry permit. Now I'm here to make sure you don't go to jail for carrying that gun in the wrong spot. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly where you can find all of the state laws and where you got reciprocity with your concealed carry permit. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. And if you're new here, you need to know that simply owning a firearm does not prepare you for armed self-defense. We provide education and training to help you avoid danger and save lives. Now, let's start talking about concealed carry reciprocity. The fact that you have a concealed carry permit does not mean you get to go anywhere you want with your firearm. You might know the laws of your state, but you know what? 50 states, all of our territories, everything that's going on, there is no uniform firearm laws across this country. And that's something very important because you can wind up in jail. There are some states and commonwealths, Massachusetts, looking at you, New Jersey, we're talking about where this will be a felony if you end up carrying a gun without the proper permit. We had one person that I know of was on a detour outside Philadelphia, wound up in New Jersey and got T-boned, had his gun in his car properly permitted in Philadelphia, over there in Pennsylvania, got into New Jersey, now he's illegal. And it was a felony for him to carry that gun. So you need to know, you need to understand where you can and can't carry your gun. At the U.S. Concealed Carry Association, we can help you with that. We have a wonderful resource. It's our reciprocity map and gun laws website, uscca.com laws. Now this gives you an interactive reciprocity map so that you can figure out where you have your permit and then click on other states, the states you might be going to, to see if your permit is valid while you're there. And each one of those states, we list all of the gun laws in that state so that you understand what's legal and what's not legal. Is it a right to carry? Is it an open carry state? Is it a, do they issue permits? Do they issue non-resident permits? One of the cool things that you can do, and based on where I live, something I have had to do, I live here in the state of Wisconsin, and I can't carry my gun into any other adjoining state here in Wisconsin with my Wisconsin concealed carry permit. Minnesota doesn't allow my permit. Illinois doesn't recognize my permit. Michigan doesn't recognize my permit. So. I had to go outside and I got myself a Florida non-resident permit because some of those other states recognize Florida's non-resident permit, which I can get from the state of Florida, carry with me when I go to Minnesota or Michigan. And it's all right there on this reciprocity map. You just click on the state, easy. Now you know if you're legal or not. This is especially good if you're driving across country, if you're doing vacations or anything like that. We had an event, our USCCA Expo down in Fort Worth, Texas, we use the USCCA app and our reciprocity map, because you can do this on mobile or your computer at home. We use the map to plot out our route. I think we were fine going through Iowa. I can't remember right off the top of my head. And that's part of the problem. Think about this. You need to know all of the laws for all 50 states and how they interact. You need something right in the palm of your hand so you can look at it on the app and figure out where you are. We set up the app to tell us as we crossed state lines which state we were going into and where we were legal. We could carry our guns with us or if we had to put them in a case and lock them in the back of the vehicle. This is the kind of information that will keep you out of jail and keep you from getting in trouble, okay? As we said at the beginning, just owning a gun does not prepare you for armed self-defense. It also, just owning a gun does not prepare you for the myriad of laws and all of the potential problems that you could run into carrying your firearm, especially if you're crossing state lines, especially if you're out there on vacation, or if you want to fly with your gun. Our laws page tells you how to do that properly. I flew out to New York recently, went to New York State, had a permit that allows me to carry in New York. I happen to be a police officer, so my ID badge was good when I went into New York. But here's what really confused me when I got there. I arrived in New York, picked up my bag with my gun inside the bag. Nobody said a word to me put my gun on, walked around the city of New York, did everything I needed to do. When I returned to the airport and I checked in, I told the people at the gate, yep, I got a gun in my bag. Bells and whistles and klaxons and everybody running around, there's a gun in my bag. Next thing you know, I'm talking to three armed officers from the police department who wanted to see my gun, wanted to see my police ID, wanted to take a picture of my driver's license, wanted to make sure my gun was completely unloaded and the ammunition was separate. And then they carried the gun back through the baggage handling claim area to put it on the airplane. They were gone like 20 minutes while I was waiting for them. They came back and said, yep, 
everything's taken care of now. So it was more illegal. I don't, I don't know how you would describe it. The only thing anybody cared about was when I was leaving New York with that gun, not when I was arriving in New York with that gun. I carried that gun around New York for days. I was perfectly legal, but nobody knew I had it. They knew I had it when I was leaving, and thank goodness that I had looked on the website and knew how I had to have that gun stored and set up so that I could get through TSA, through the airport, and past all of the New York authorities carrying my gun out of their state. This is the kind of stuff that we want to teach you here at the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. You need to know these laws. You need to be the good guy with a gun, stay out of jail, do the right thing, and it's not just putting a gun on your hip, walking around town and feeling safe. You need to be on the right side of the law because the legal system is complex. There's a myriad of things that can go wrong that can tie you up legally, financially, put you in jail, or maybe get you in very serious trouble with the police. You end up looking at one of their guns because you're carrying yours and they're pointing theirs at you. We don't want that stuff to happen. And remember folks, this is what we do. We have this resource for mobile, tablet, regular computers. We've got it, you can click to it. It's down in the description. It's the first thing you'll see down there. Click there, it will take you right to the site, let you know the laws, let you know where your permits are good, where your permits are not good. That's more important than knowing where they are good actually, making sure that you don't get yourself in trouble. There are a lot of states where carrying a gun without a permit is a felony. Now. We have some states where they don't even require permits. So if you're living in one of those states, good for you. But understand, if you want to leave home, you better have a permit that makes you legal in the state where you are going. And if you're getting on an airplane, when you get off that airplane, you are immediately subject to every single law where you are standing. That's where you put your feet down. So even if you're going up to the Northeast and you wanna go visit a beautiful national park in Maine, if you fly into New Jersey, you got New Jersey law, you got New York law, you got Massachusetts law, you got New Hampshire law, and you got Maine law that you need to take care of as you're working your way all the way through that. If we get to national reciprocity, then yes, makes it easier. But until we get to national reciprocity, until we get the right to cross state lines with our firearm the same way we do with our driver's license, click on this site, get in there, learn about what's going on, and make sure that you are legal when you're carrying your gun. Find it in the link down below. We will tell you exactly where you're legal. And we update this every week. We have a full-time staff of people checking the laws on all 50 states, and we provide updates. You're going to love it. It's going to keep you on the right side of the law. Make sure you don't get in trouble with your gun. We're responsibly armed Americans. It is our responsibility to know the laws of where we're standing and to follow them. That's why we say we're the good guys. We have extra work that we have to do to be legal with our firearms. Just having a gun is not enough. You need to know what you're doing. If you wanna to subscribe to this page, please do. We'll notify you when we create a new video. We put out lots of great videos for new gun owners, for experienced gun owners. We are here to help you be responsibly armed Americans. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. Stay safe out there.